Hi there, and welcome to this lesson on place value. So for this lesson, you are going to need a few things so that you can do these activities right along with me. So you are going to need some base 10 blocks. You're going to need some hundreds, some tens, and some ones. You will also need a mini whiteboard and a dry erase marker, or even just a scrap piece of paper and a pencil will work just fine. So in this lesson, we are going to um, have an introduction to place value. What does place value even mean? Well, it's going to make sense after this lesson. So first of all, I'm going to ask you to build a number and we're going to use our base 10. So what I want you to do is put all your base 10s kind of at the out of your way so that you have an area to work here. So for me, I just put them all up at the top of my desk and I'm going to use this as my workspace. So if you can just take a second and get your workspace ready, we are going to start by building the number 12. So how would you build the number 12? Well, we can use one 10 block and two ones. So I want you to build this number in front of you, the number 12, and then we are going to write it on our whiteboard. But first of all, we are going to draw a place value chart. And I would like you to draw the exact same type of place value chart that I am drawing. We're going to put an H in this space for hundreds, a T right there for tens, and, a, and an O right there for ones. So we have hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay. Anytime you need more time, just pause this video and then restart it when you're ready. So when we build the number 12, how many tens do we have? How many tens are in the number 12? We can see that we have one 10. So we're going to write the one in the tens column. Now in the number 12, how many ones do we have? We have two ones. So we are going to write a two in the ones column you can see that the number 12 is built by using one group of 10 and two ones. So if we were just going to write the number 12, not in a place value chart, I'm just going to give myself a little bit more room here. It just looks like this, doesn't it? Okay, now we're going to do something. We are going to add another 10 to this number. So I want you to grab another 10 from your base 10 blocks and add it to that number. Now, what number do we have? So now we have the number 22. What does this look like on our place value chart? What is going to change? Do we still have two ones? Yes, we do. So this number is going to stay the same because we still have a two in the ones column. Now, how many tens do we have? Do we have one 10? No, we don't. We have two tens. So this one is going to become a two. So we can see that the number 22 is made up of two tens and two ones. And if we wanted to just write the number 22, it's going to look like that. All right, now we're going to get a little bit trickier. We are going to add one of our hundreds blocks to this number. So I'm going to put it right there. And I want you to think really hard about what number these blocks represent now. Okay, so let's take a look first of all at our place value chart. Do we still have two ones? Yes, we do. Do we still have two tens? Yes, we do. But now we added, what did we add? We added one hundred. So we're going to put a one in this column because we added one 100 block. Okay. Now our number reads 122. And if we wanted to write that out in digits, we would write 1, 2, 2, and we would say 122. All right. I want you to take a second. You can pause this video for a minute and I want you to add something else to your number, something else to your base tens and then make that adjustment on the place value chart and then come back and press play as soon as you're done. So you can press pause right now. 
Okay, you're back. So I wish I could see in real life what you added to your number, um, but obviously I can't. Um, I'm just going to do one example for you and maybe you did the exact same thing as me. I'm actually going to add two more hundreds to my number. So now I have three hundreds, two tens and two ones. So the way that that changes my number is like this. Now I have three groups of 100. I have two groups of 10 and I have two ones. So I have 322. Okay, we are going to move on to the next part now. So what I'm going to ask you to do is put all your blocks back up top and we're going to start with a brand new number. So I'm just going to grab my eraser so I can erase my whiteboard. You can leave the place value chart there, the hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay, I'm going to put a number on the whiteboard and I'm going to ask you to build it with base 10 blocks. So I would love to see you build 136. So go ahead and take a minute to build that with your base 10 blocks, 136. Okay, if you need more time, you can go ahead and pause, but if you're ready to go, I'm going to keep going. So what does your 136 look like? Well, we should have 100 block. So there's one group of 100. Then we should have, how many tens do we have in this number, 136? We have three tens. So there's 10, 20, 30. Three tens makes 30. And now we need to add our ones. And how many ones did we have? We had six. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we can see what the number 136 looks like. This digit right here, this one, it's not actually a one, is it? It's actually a 100. This digit right here, it's not actually a three, it's really a 30 because we have three tens, which makes 30. This number here is actually six because that's the ones column. So we know that we just have six little ones. So there's the number 136. Now, tricky question. What happens if I take away all the tens? And you can take away your tens too so that you just have this left. How does this change our place value chart? I want you to think for a minute about this. Now there are some people that might think that this makes this number because we took out the tens, we have no tens. So should we just write one six? No, we should not because this says 16, right? This is one ten and six ones. We don't have one ten and six ones. So I'm going to erase that. Here's what we do when we take out the tens. We're going to take out those three tens. And what do we fill this empty space with? We fill it with a zero because we have zero tens. All we have is 106 ones. We have no tens. So when we write this number, it looks like this. How do we say this number? We say 100 six. So you try it too. 106. Okay, that is a great job. You've done really well today. I'm going to end the video now, but I would like you to do one more thing for me. I would like you to erase your whiteboard and build any number that you want with your base 10 blocks, and then write the number on your place value chart and write the number below without doing it in the place value chart. If you have a teacher or a parent or, or some other person that you are working with, you can go ahead and show them your work. But if not, that's okay too. You can just do it for yourself and feel pretty good about how far you've come throughout this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.